Like, so yeah, so like in 2014 or 15, no, 15, when Leffen became like best in the world, I do, I do think he became like a, the sixth god because at the time, whoever the, the next best player was, at, probably at the time was West Balls yeah. or maybe Hacks because that was before Hacks left again. But anyway, point is, there was still such a huge gap between him and the next best player that I thought, okay, he's a god. Yeah. I didn't think that with Plup, when Plup beat Armada and started winning majors, because that gap isn't there now. You know, there is not a noticeable difference between Plup and the next best player who I guess you could say would be, like, out of the top six, the next best player is like, what, Wizrobe? Something like that. Uh, yeah, Wizro. I think Wizro, personally. Amsa, Axe. There, there's not that huge gap like there was with Leffen and those other three of the top ten. So so I, so I, now I just think the god era is dead. I don't think there's any gods anymore. So I still think those the former gods yeah. win most of the time, but I, I think the god era is officially dead. I think... So that's a good reason to think the way you do, and that's not wrong. My, for me... The titles kind of don't mean anything. They yeah. what they are is like you know how Ken is still the king of Smash even though he's not remote. He's not close to top ten, mm -hmm. but he's just always going to be the king of Smash yeah. because of how long his streak was. Well, for me, the gods are the same way. They're always going to be the gods because they were the gods. Levin's always going to be the god slayer that's because, true. and that's just my opinion. But the, I, the god era though is dead. Yeah, that's that's fair. Oh, let me get my Psychonauts poster to show. I, you know, I should have brought I, one of the posters for the book, the children's book I've written. I should have brought that up here so I could, oh, there, there we go. So I can show it off as well. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> gotta rock the uh, Pokemon trip. Oh, ah, uh. whee! <laughs> We'll just make it a three stop. Oh yeah, there was also a homie stock in that Smash 4 grand final. Oh. People booed for that too. People booed for homie stocks? Yeah. Oh! No! <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> okay, that was cool. That was so cool. These characters are so bad and I love it. Oh, that's not a B turnaround I meant to do, but that is a B turnaround. <laughs> Kirby, why? Ooh. I'm forcing this! <laughs> it's gonna be the death of me. It was the death of me, but I've been trying to force it. <laughs> Wasn't meant to be a fourth throw. Can't homie stock on last stock. Come on, Kirby. Oh, what? I don't know. What it just got absorbed in the platform, or? Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh
All right, Kirby. Ah, yeah, that recovery. Poor Ness. Rip Ness. <laughs> All right. Poor Ness. Okay. I'm just going to do what random one that's okay. Okay, Marth Peach. Let's let's do it. Why not? It's funny. These aren't usually who's playing the character <laughs> when you do this match. That's right. In honor of the Evo victory, the Swedish fish. Huh. How did that not even trade, bro? That was that was dirty. I just did a C stick jump for some reason. Super bad. Yeah. Granted, not our mains for either of us. Woo! Just, just rip, let it rip. Let the nair rip. I guess, I guess drop to ledge is about all I can do. Not like that. Don't, don't try to ledge dash with characters that you don't play. That, that won't work out well. Come <laughs> on. 
Short hop auto cancel dare with Peach. Oh no! Hey, wait a sec. While we're while we're out of invincibility, give me just a don't don't hit me. I want to try something. Oh, okay. So she can full hop. No, in okay. Yeah, now we're good. Even on Dreamland. That was atrocious timing on my part. That's kind of neat! I didn't know Peach had that in her arsenal. Ooh. And for as good of a move as F Smash is, all that in lag is... Bombs when you hold them in this way don't de don't like detonate on you after a certain amount of time. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, not the time to challenge that. Okay, so I, I apparently need to learn more about that because I thought that you can't kill yourself if you do if you take yourself off the top. That that was only something that other people could do to you, which is why the Luigi ladder works, right? Yeah, that is, that is true. You can. But apparently, I just up the parasol myself into the into the shadow realm. Off the top. Yeah, well, Not off the top. I think I saw the sprite going over to the left, but I guess I'm actually not sure. That should... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you've got to get out of Tumble Fall first. That will... Okay, okay. So Tumble Fall is exactly what it sounds like. It's the animation after hits... I mean, it takes place even after hits time. Unless you mash out of it! Oh my god! If that had worked...
Outplaying me at this point. Ooh. Oh no, no, no! That was still in range! Lord, that was still in range! I was so waiting to like punish that with a forward air, and I got wrecked. Shrecky Recky. Okay. That was a comeback. That was cool. That was cool, man. On Dreamland. Like, I should have been dead way earlier than that. Alright. Save us more? Let's do it. Neutral air is good. Up smash is not. Ooh, that was cool. Thank you. Right. As long as that lasts, I still thought it, there was a chance it might have hit you. Ooh. So, did you know that Samus gets falls 60% more quickly on a fastball. I don't know if it's the fastest in the game or just one of the fastest, but it's it's pretty fast. Alright. Alright. Samus mains have that timing down. I apparently do. Like that. You're never supposed to miss that missile. Also, Marth can apparently low profile under a missile. That's kind of neat. He gets to pull like a sheet, I guess. Trying to up tilt. That's what I meant to do. Oh, if that had been a, a down air. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, Samus missiles are kind of, kind of ridiculous.
Ooh. Ah, battlefield. Ah, eh, well. Gotta learn. Gotta learn. No, I don't. That's not a character I plan on playing too much. Alright. No, in all seriousness, uh, if I'm going to do one more mid tier, I've got to do Luigi. I have to do some Luigi here. Context. Alright. Oh, that's... That's what I meant to do. To literally no one's surprise, the Jigglypuff Fox player is spamming back. Whip shy guy. my jump squad, I think. Mm, no, I did. no, 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 don't you do it. Don't you do it. Whoa! Okay. Nailed it. Oh, that DI. So someone in the comment section of one of the videos, including you, thinks you're cute, by the way. Really? Yep. How many videos am I in? I thought I was only in that one. I'm in like three at this point. The first one you're in, definitely. Uh, the one with Evangeline in it. And I think we have another, like, a more friendly, I think it's called. <laughs> oh! There we go. <laughs> I think that isn't that taken from another character, like in another fighting game. His Possibly. stance, because yeah. you know how Yoshi has the thing where he turns around and faces. I thought that was just Yoshi being derpy, but no, that's Akuma apparently. Hmm. I mean, it's Yoshi. It's believable yeah, that he'd be derpy. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a puff. 
not playing too well right now. I'm sorry. Luckily, you're not playing well either. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we go. Yeah, 20XX unfortunately can make us feel kind of naked. Ooh, the tippy toes! No! All of that! All of that! There's something, okay. myself to do a wave dash forward. Once you actually get good enough to do those up air tech traps, it becomes like a 50-50. Because are you going to tech now or are you going to tech the trap I might put on you? Um, and I really need to learn how to do that. Like, theoretically I know how to, but I need to make myself... Ooh. That was... Oh! When Jigglypuff misses a down air, it'll cancel. 30 frames! Oh. Alright. Can I try on the Morph, please, before I switch to Fox? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still not good at running shines, but I've been trying to practice it. Yeah, let's do some story. Wait, get the tractor ring! I didn't think I had quite enough jumps to keep going! <sighs> it's a scary life. Oh! Oh! 
I didn't try to do a drop kick Murphy. Uh-uh, not not non-tipper. This is Yoshi's story. I should be dead. So slow get up also gives you more frames where the opponent can't grab ledge. And I was hoping that would be enough. It was that should yep. I should do it. Oh. Ooh, not the turnaround you were looking for. Take me buff. Why are you? Why are you? <laughs> All right. The, the T-Rex arms are are important to balance. Also, her grab rate is actually pretty good when you consider yeah. how stubby her arms are. True. They do go well out. If she was oh, a, if she had a realistically spaced grab, it would be yeah, much it would worse. actually be short. Now that's true for most characters, though. Yeah. Like unless your name is Captain Falcon or Ganondorf, and for whatever reason, want to flex, literally flex while they do their grabs. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Temper fair. Should have done it, to be honest. If I told you neither one of those were supposed to be nares. Oh, it was supposed to be jabs. Ooh. Okay. Note to self. Can't do that. Nope, I didn't have enough jumps. Get the chase The one time I'm trying to empty hop you. Cool. The platform slide off into no hit stun. Rest or back in, but the safer option at that percent cut there. Although, if I had rested and you had another shock, I'd be dead anyway. You can just drop a tipper and smash it dead. Alright, fax machine. Blue fax. Hax fax. Star hacks. Alright. Project M. I wish. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's that's my favorite buff in Project M. Captain Falcon being able to grab the ledge. Like, you know, he's supposed to. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Note to self, get a warm up. This is actually one of my favorite matches to watch. So I was trying to go for falling. <clears throat> there goes my voice. Falling up there. Come on, short hop, Jay. You can do it. I believe in you. Like the one thing with Fox I can do. I'm dead. Yeah, I don't care what you do there, I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh, it hit! I'm hurt, dog! Don't ask if I'm okay! I should be a dead falcon. Alright. Warm up game first, if that's alright. Whoever you play, let me try to get a warm up minute in. Yeah, I was gonna ask for like a hand warm when I first got here too. Oh, so. Sorry. Alright. Alright. Now, doing a warm up though, maybe not on Brinstar. Oh, I see. Okay. timing, the three frame jump squat from the Jigglypuff Peach Falco timing. Okay, now I'm good at when it hits the seven, that works. I don't think we're going to have a timeout, but just in case, timeout, might as well. Oh yeah, also, what was it? There was a match that was almost a timeout, and I oh, did it yeah. too. It's like, and I said, it's the longest I've ever, prob one of the longest I've ever seen a match go where they weren't, like, going for the timeout, you know what I mean? Hbox Armada? No, maybe. Possibly. No, because actually, I think it was, like... Because Hbox is still, like... Okay. Puff is still a character who plays slowly. I think it was, like, yeah. even a Fox did it or something like that. Dang. Yeah, Fox did it as that goes slowly. 
like two really defensive foxes that like to laser camp and do things like that? Oh no, it was Hbox Armada. Alright. But yeah, it took seven and a half minutes. And yeah. they put, but they weren't playing for the timeout as a thing. Yeah. Whereas like, I know Hbox can play for timeout for characters like Ices or Ganondorf or Peach or stuff like that. What, what I haven't seen... I in? Oh, you're in port four. Okay. Oh, I see what you're up to, okay. Alright, alright. There we go. Alright. Alright. Okay, no, this is fine. This is this is just battlefield. those L cancels. Miss those L cancels. Ooh! Okay, okay. So, something I, I may have mentioned to you, maybe not, is that uh, there's a place in Clarksville that's opening up called the Games Alliance. It's mostly like Warhammer and Magic the Gathering stuff, but the guy who owns it is actually interested in doing melee tournaments there. So we might have, in Clarksville of all places, a local. And even if it's just like bi weekly or something, that'd be... Yeah, I'd go there. Spoiler alert, in all likelihood, unless we have some travelers from Athens or something, you and I will be the best players there. But Are you the only players there? No, 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 no. Well, it depends. <laughs> no, no, we won't be the only ones. Assuming that everyone who says they're going to show up to it, like who's interested in doing that, will, then no. But you know how it goes in this day and age. That's what I was trying to do to beat it up. One of the issues that I have with playing both spaces, really, is that I have a difficult time finding a, a place to shine. Yeah. Ooh, that actually beat up Smash. Yeah, I'm also... It's, it's just that I'm not very cognizant of it. I'm like... Yeah. Like other than spot dodge shine, and I am I know to do shine. Oh, good dog dog. I know to do shine on a shield. I just don't know how to do it. You know what I mean? But yeah. like, actually putting it to use. And occasionally I'll like armada shine or something like that. But that's that's an accident, honestly. Even if it's meant to happen, it's still mostly an yeah. accident. Instead of getting the there's nothing you can do about it armada shine, it's the I read where you were gonna jump. Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Jojo's. Jojo's bizarre melee 
Super Smash JoJo's. I don't watch that show, so I don't know the reference. Alright. Sorry. You're good. So in my opinion, oh, nice. The most underrated thing about Falco is that his back air auto cancels. Ooh! So, it kicks! They're kind of where it's at. They got those metal legs installed for a reason. <gasps> Ooh! Oh! I saw my life flash before my eyes. Oh, Alright. Yeah. All right, that was cool. Uh, I feel like bodying me with Marth for just a second, or well, actually. So if I held a gun to your head and said, "What character? You're gonna play one character now. If you win, against you get a million dollars against, against anyone. Against anyone. You don't know who it's gonna be. You win, Falco. you get a million dollars. Yeah, Falco. If 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 you say, and I'm going off, it's Marth. Yeah, no, no, that's right. Okay. Otherwise, it's. I want to get better at Fox. I need to get better at Fox. I guess that question doesn't really... Uh, we don't have to worry about that question because it's not just a tough one, right? Well, no, I want to play both. I can't. But, but that's what I'm saying. So, like, if someone were asking that question... Yeah, there's no matchup right now where I could say I will go Fox instead of Puff. Because while it's developing, at least, the Puff is just so much better than the Fox. Which, I mean, Puff is an easy character, relatively speaking. Not a very technical character. Okay. Yeah, I did that on purpose trying to be Yeah, and it worked. It was cool. I ended up dying too big as anyone. What? I, the one time I didn't do it. Yeah! Ooh, ah! Ooh. Okay. Yeah, for me. Oh, okay. And the kick is good. Wait one second. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just switch. Okay, I'm good. All right. You gotta remember to wave dash there, cause when you do the, the space down tilt like that. Grab does it. Oh! No, 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 not the turnaround grab! <laughs> that was quick. A quick 104. Alright. See, there's a place to shine, and you got that down. Crouch Cancel Shine is real. Against Falco, it's a little harder to do because you can't Crouch Cancel Down Tilt, or Down Air. That angle, though. <laughs> Any scene? So you're saying that, like, if there are these tournament scene parts for would be the best players? Um, uh, a bit of self-deprecating humor. Any scene where Tommy Culkin is the best player is a fraudulent scene. I'm just gonna say it right now. Well, <laughs> I mean, we're, we're watching all these top 100 players against each other. But, you know, that's not most metas, unfortunately. Ooh, that DI, I DI'd for you. No, I, I didn't hit the stage to tech. What? Ooh. 
just wailing me over here. You have unleashed your inner Falco. <laughs> nope, there it is. <sighs> yeah, when you DI one. Ugh. That was, that was cool. I made your sweat though. You did, well, I'm so, I'm, it's 5,000 degrees in here. I was like at like 110 when that stock started, I took you to 78 yeah. or whatever that was. Just gave me a tour of FD for a bit, man. And it all started with a gram near the ledge. Because I've got to learn to not always, 99% of the time, approach with, uh, with aerials like that. I've got to empty hop once in a while. Ah, just to mix it up. Yeah. I'm looking, looking for the, uh, uh, I'm looking for the one, I don't think it's in this version, of where he, uh, Marth looks like Robin. Oh, oh! Yeah, it's usually, it's usually the L. I can download it. If it's not in here, I can download it. Well, I'll put you it don't on. Have to. I mean, I don't mind. If it's cool by you. That's fine, then. Tilt that down just a bit. There we go. Hey. Alright, I'm good when you are. So you were talking about how... How... While we're talking... Foxes, red foxes... Are more aggressive because they're red? I think it's... Oh yeah, so there is something in color psychology where red tends to make a person more aggressive, but it also tends to make the opponent think of them as more aggressive. They're more likely to be more scared of them. Do you see it applying to other characters? Because that's where my mind immediately thought was that, like, you know, uh... Well, yeah, that should apply to every character. I mean, that should apply, like, Jigglypuffs who play with the red bow, or the red flower, yeah. should generally be more aggressive and be seen as more aggressive than blue Jigglypuffs. Do you see that? I mean, Jigglypuff is a bad example because I actually can't think of a single well, character that does So it's right. not even just melee. It, in fact, it's largely studied in sport. I mean, I don't know anyone that studies specifically melee, but like in FPS games, for instance, red versus blue, or the recommendation for the International Olympic Committee that in a contact sports, red not be a color that's used, even if it's in a country's flag or whatnot. There's a reason they made that recommendation. There, there's that famous study where they take the video of uh, a match and they show it to judges. It was one of the martial arts events, in, I guess judo or something, in, uh, in the Olympics. And then they show the same thing to another group, but they digitally reverse red and blue. So it's the same battle, but it's digitally reversed. Nice. And the judges went with the red person hmm. in both cases. So. The, the esports implications aren't as strong as in the rest of the world, and in Melee specifically, as far as I'm aware, there's not. But if that part of our psychology is a constant, if that's something that's true regardless... Yeah, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not playing with Yeah. Because then I started thinking... Can you think of other red characters either don't play super aggressive or play defensively. Like, the only other pro I can think of who plays a red, not Fox, is West Coast. And his, his style is really weird because it's both aggressive while also being different defensive. You know what I mean? I can see that. Oh, West Coast has a, uh, is, is, in my opinion, erroneously called aggressive a lot. When what he actually is, is aggressively defensive. So he's not the, I'm gonna camp you with laser style right. that people have gotten used to with your PPMDs and your zoos and that sort of thing. Didn't go far enough. So you can't run and shine until you run, which means you can't do it while you're in your dash. So if I try to do it too close, then nothing happens. That happens. There we are. And then the Fox version of that is same thing that Falco can do. Oh, there we are. Or you just run to ledge. You don't have to do any turnaround laser shenanigans. You can just side beat a ledge. It's so good and it's so easy. 
So easy, a game <laughs> can do it. Yeah, uh, you know, I think Tech used to be a red Jigglypuff, right? Oh, yeah, been... you're right. And of course, he's like the aggressive Jigglypuff. But Mango was too. Mango was crown. Mango was crown. Yeah. Well, but the, the the logic doesn't say that you aggressive players only play. Red, no, no, no. So and same Mango played crown doesn't play. And the effect is strongest when the players are of about equal skill. So if there's this huge discrepancy between the player skill, then just simply, oh, I'm gonna lie down and, and you try to hit me with a with an aerial. Oh, oh never mind. Okay. Is like throw me up, knock me down, and see if you can hit me with a falling aerial, like a falling forward air or something. Okay, because it looked like you did one earlier that missed me. All right. Oh, okay. Check this out. Check this out. All right. Let me see. I think it's down gives us our infinite shields, right? D pad down, or it's something in D pad down. No, D pad down brings up this menu. Okay. Oh, because so... you're player four, right? Oh no, there we go. Okay, so that's not it. Um, maybe it's deep. No, it's definitely not deep pad up. That wouldn't make any sense. Y deep pad down? Okay, that should be on anyway. X deep pad down? Nope, that's not it. Um, the one I'm trying to do is the one that gives you infinite shields. There it is, there it is. Okay, see, I have infinite shield now. So check this out. You just hold shield for a second if you don't mind. Alright. It's a shine grab. Mm -hmm. And I've got to get the timing right, but once I do... Can you shield again, please? Thank you. Alright. I, I have to force myself to wait after the shine. You can't just... My fingers are already on the button, so theoretically I could just spam them all together. But can't do that because you're in uh, hit lag during the shine, and you can't do a jump, and therefore you can't input a grab. That's pretty cool. He gets to shish kebab it. And so the reason I had you hold shield is because it actually changes the timing. Um, I have to wait after the shine for longer when you're in shield because, you know, there's, more hit, there's hit lag. Mm -hmm. Anyone can... Given enough time, I could... It's frame four, Jay. You have to wait for four frames. See, that's what I mean when, when I say I can do technical stuff with Fox. I'm working on it, I'm clearly not there, but I just randomly shine grabs. Just and then when I get good enough at it, I'll try to implement it in the gameplay. So, the idea for practicing those running shines is to eventually get running shine grabs. Oh no, it already is off. Yeah. It should be, yeah, it should be off. Wait a second. Yeah, okay, you're good. Okay. We had the same idea, but either your shine outranged mine, or came out first, or both. My shine outranged Oh, sorry, not shine. Grab. Shine. I'm all shined up. Ooh! <laughs> ah <-ha! laughs> Oops. It's tough to find those openings, but falling up there against Marth should be okay. Alright. It's funny, ever since ever since Zane, Zane is the one who's inspired me. Not to like I don't want to say my recovery is good, but just to like experiment with the timing of my opening. Yes. Recovery. Yes. A lot of higher level players will see those patterns and will take advantage of it. Like Zane more than any other Marth. Zane more than any other Marth, a lot of things and that's in recovery. 
but one of the things that really pisses me about him. Four star! Okay, let's try again. Is the way that he uh, has very subtle ways of mixing up his recovery. Yeah. With a recovery that's usually considered one of the more linear out of the top tiers. Admittedly. Out of the top tiers is doing a lot of work in that sentence, but it's true. Fox, Falco, Peach, of course, Jigglypuff, of course. Oh, Jigglypuff. All have much better companies in Mars. I think Sheik's is probably a little bit more linear, but Sheik's Sheik doesn't Sheik? get, like, she gets a Sheik recovery, in like, intangibility, I mean. Yeah, Sheik and Falco. Oh, okay. Feels like I lost control of my character for a second for some reason. Sixty-six percent. Almost sixty. No. I'm sorry. I'm I'm slightly sorry. Ooh, into it. Wave dash forward, Jay. You what? <laughs> what? Oh, you survived it. That's woo. Okay, and then sometimes, sometimes I'll have a moment like that. A moment of not sucking. Oh, Okay, I'm super dead. <sighs> can I... Can I try Falco? I don't yeah. care who you play, I'd like to practice some more Falco. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, wait, 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 pop, stop for just a second. Okay. Now that we don't have that high pitch, let's go on.
real Falco life. Okay, what you were going for there was so cool. <laughs> yeah, the, the laser. Oh my god. That's if I'm dead already. Falco starts at death percent. Stop shooting my laser so high. So, 88 to me is the anti 69. It's my least favorite number. And so I'm trying to get off the. Because apparently it's a number that's been adopted by like neo Nazis and stuff like that. Um, because 8 is the 8th letter in the English alphabet, and or H is the 8th letter in the English alphabet. And uh, so 88 is HH, which is apparently, uh, yeah, yeah. You see where that's going. Also, I know that Neonaz is like the name 14 because there's The Creed of some sort. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I could have wall jumped, but that would have been sick. So since you play Falco, have you practice like up smash out of shield it's yeah. not like the most useful for falco but it's still pretty it's still pretty giant Ooh, actually beat the laser out of it oh not the short one not the short one. Maybe this is one of those problems that actual Falco mains don't have, maybe. But I keep shooting my laser so short that, or I shoot it late enough that it doesn't come out. Oh, nope, that ain't Fox. Ooh, okay, diamond cutter. Oh, good job! <laughs> to the extent that I pop off, I, that's a pop off for my opponent. Yeah. No, it's, it's cool. Sheik's a cool character. It, much tougher than I initially realized. Yeah. The opponent being at, like, crouch cancel percent until forever is admittedly pretty annoying. So it's that she is also at the same time easier to kill it than the other. Yeah, yeah, no, no doubt. Best characters. If we're except comparing best Jigglypuff. characters, then yeah, except like Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff Maybe is, Peach? Jigglypuff is. I would say Jigglypuff is not easy. Because I would say that low tech skill requirement isn't the same as easy. Yeah, that's true. Having to play neutral in a way that a lot of other characters. It's, it's different for Jigglypuff. Like. Yeah. It's hard to explain. It's easy to explain tech skill most of the time. You know, in the age of the internet and whatnot. It's hard to explain how to play neutral, like how to condition them to scoop back, how to condition them to stay in shield so you can get your grab and stuff like that. That part's a little harder to do. But I think a lot of more traditional fighting game players... I didn't know if I could make it there in time. I should have tried. Uh, a lot of more traditional fighting game characters players need to play Jigglypuff a little bit more in a way that that may not quite be true for Fox, Falco, 
Same with Peach, you know, I used to think that Peach was the main character when I would beat up on my roommate who would just screw up. Yeah. I'm like, she's not, she's so slow. She is. Uh, when I first started playing Peach, I'll say that I kind of had the stereotype in my mind as well. Like, you don't even have to just, help cancel once you learn to float. Yeah, just sit down and smash all that down. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, not the turnaround. Poor Samus. That takes forever to draw back. And my Samus is like the queen of terrible breasts. Or not breasts, but terrible grabs. It's alright. I mean, Samus is also herself the queen of terrible grabs. Dang. Here we go. So, remember I told you about that Roy that actually beat me at the first uh, Smash on Tap tournament? Yeah. And I was like, okay, I can do this three ways. I can either play Marth and just strictly better. Oh my god! Try to strictly better him, which I eventually did. I could play Jigglypuff and just get good. Or I could play a cross cancel character like Samus or Peach. And I ended up not going that route, though later I ended up playing Peach. And, uh, that was part of my reasoning, because Roy kind of just gets owned by crouch canceling. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, that doesn't work. Can't stop a, a charge shot with a laser. Because it's a, for the same reason you can't stop it with Marth's Shield Breaker. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. <laughs> Solomus. Samus did him? Just for the lulls? Fusion Samus. Well, Fusion hasn't come out at this point, so it's not Fusion Samus, but whatever. Alright, let's do it. No, that, that's gonna be Fusion Samus. Yeah, this is not the screen. Yeah, she's... So yours is just like the same but HD? I, I might have accidentally turned it off, but it might be an HD one. No, uh, some of them are like that, where it's just like the same but HD. appreciate that technical, I say technical Samuses, at a certain level it's every Samus can do the missile spam. Like, yeah. everyone from old guy hugs to duck to East Sam, oh okay that was cool, um, hugs is like two years older than me, I can't actually get, get onto him for that, <laughs> it's just a meme. Aww. Uh, Whee! <laughs> it's alright. Bec 
because it auto cancels when you land, at a certain point it just becomes there's no reason not to shoot a missile there if you're able to do it, which I'm not always able to do. Come on, Jack. I remember being a little kid and thinking that it was super broken that you could drop a, a bomb there and make your ooh, 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 and make your opponent like have to respect it. And in Athens, there's a Samus player named Silver who can pretty consistently super wave dash. Like it's it's kind of ridiculous. In there. Although at that percent, I think you'd still cross cancel through it anyway. Ooh! No, that move is weirdly strong. It doesn't look like it should be that strong. Alright, um. Yeah, the Samus went for fun. Uh. Fox Buff? Okay, I'm gonna get the first one. No, well, I mean, it's still Fox. Maybe not. It's my Fox. Yeah. On Fountain, maybe. I do appreciate, again, that you know better than I do, certainly, when to. Ooh! When to find those spots to, uh, to shine. but I'm actually not entirely sure. Ooh. Yep, okay, so that should have been a back air instead of coming with the forward airs. That should have been an aerial of some sort. Yep, but that's Fox, so we we live in. Well, that was that was not what I meant to do. All right, good falling back here. Come on, Jay. Stadium, the low ceiling and wider area to maneuver. I actually played Fox and took a puff at a that Athens tournament. I took him to stadium with Fox. It did not. Uh, it did not go as well as I had hoped. 
I mean, I got two kills on camera, but, you know, he knows how to rest, and I do not know how to play neutral against Puff. As a Puff. Or at least not as Fox. Ooh. So I guess you know, but if you can try to DI down when that happens. Yeah. Ooh, I'm dead. Yep, yep. What was that? That wasn't an up smash, was it? It was. It was sour and impossible. Oh. You were still at a high enough percent. I wish I could say that that... Okay. So there must be something I'm missing, because I tried to do the up air platform, like the, the tech track, and you just DI'd away. Oh, maybe it was just too high a percent. Or maybe the platforms are too small, etc. But can't can't do that, my friend. You get grabbed. Not unless I'm falling asleep. So one thing that I'll get the chance to go back and see, thanks to the inputs, but ooh, that's it, yep, stadium, that should do it, is when we attempted to do something and we're just too late, or maybe even too early. Yeah. Puff is stupid. Um, can we try versus Marth on stadium? Because I know that Marth's Ford Smash will cover the entire platform if you get stuck there. Oh, yeah, piggy, piggy skin. I'm gonna be Squirtle. Or maybe it's not up, maybe it's up tilt, right? That covers the whole platform. Marth, so if you like stand under the platforms, yeah, go for it right now if you don't mind. We'll, we'll move back. Yeah, I think you literally cover the entire platform there. Yeah, often when I play against Marth, I, if, I'm trying to get better at it. I mean, I was a little better at the tournament, but. Um, I'm trying to hit you one time off stage and then grab ledge because that's what I saw HBox say you're supposed to do against Mark to edge guard it. If you can hit him one time, it usually puts him in a, a bad enough position that. Oh, oh boy. That he'll have to up B either into you and you know, die because you're holding ledge still, or up B on stage and rest him. Like, the object for the puff is to try to get them in such a bad spot. Ooh. Ooh. Stay the I didn't think I quite had enough hit stun to rest there. Dude! Crouch cancel up smash! Nice! Down no, smash. Oh, oh I, I thought I up smashed. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, oh, yeah, so yeah. you crouch canceled my up smash with your down smash. That was kind of cool. I, I thought that the angle made it when you couldn't crouch cancel. Oops! Nope! Wrong! Yeah, let the camera show. I was trying to hip smash. I don't know what on earth happened there, but it, it didn't. Nothing. Nothing is what happened. Is 
volleyball. Okay, if that hit works. Can I try Marth? We can mm -hmm. ditto it or, or however we want to do it. Ivory Marth. The most regal Marth, in my opinion. This is the last one that we had in Winner's Finals when he got that boy when I went Marth and he I forced off to He went Ganondorf. Marth's shield is kind of, kind of crappy, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> okay, that was kind of cool. Uh, props. Dude! His fist reaches forever! That's awesome! Okay, I, I want to see the frame data on that at some point. That looks... that looks stupid. That looks like Mark. Okay. It's trying to drift through you so it can shield grab. It's a thing you can do with Puff. I, I know I can do it with Mark because I hit it a moment ago. I just roy zone this mark. Oh, if that doesn't kill me off the top. <laughs> Did not expect. Did Wispy push me off? You jerk. Can't let you do that, Star Fox! Can you ledge dash? Do you need to? Okay, yeah, no, you don't need to. I was thinking that ledge dash would be really helpful here, but I'm going to die. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. I, Ganondorf's better than I originally gave him credit for. I, I thought of him, and I still mostly think of him as a big dumb brick, but his movement's good, his disjoint is actually kinda neat. I forget how much disjoint the the fist the punch has. Oh god. 
Oh, Falco versus my Marth. Oh god. Uh, tried to sweet spot. For exactly that reason. Yeah, easily my favorite move with Marth for Dan. Oh. Ah, still didn't get it. On the one hand, I guess it's okay, not a main. On the other hand, I'm still kind of mad at myself. Has something to do with Sakurai. The Sakurai combo? I, yeah, I think that's it. Sakurai combo. You no, know, Sakurai combo is when you do uh, enough beat and you have not just one kills. Oh, okay, so. What, whatever it's called. I, Sakurai has something to do with uh, the doing as it was being intended instead of. Tricky on that. At least it is for me. Alright, so Marth's not my man, unfortunately. Wobble on or off? You can wobble from all. Luigi. Now, is this who you would play against Ice Climbers? No. Okay. Probably go Falcon. That's fair. Yeah, so I wasn't prepared to wobble there, so I, that wasn't even an attempt, unfortunately. And an actual ice climber with some real experience could do things like, ooh, ooh, like that. Oh god, Luigi May. Could do things like blizzard setups that I most certainly do not. Characters that aren't our mains, L canceling, you know, like we're we're playing it in a not at all. Oh, 
not at all casual way. And it's a 17 year old game. And just for whatever reason, that hit me sentimental, sentimentally. Yeah. Oh, did you see that phantom? Phantom down smash, man. <sighs> yep. Yeah, 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 you little plumber. Alright, cool. Trusted my instincts there. Ooh. I actually think my finger missed the jump button. one of the arts in my book, it's actually melee related. The children's book has a melee related art, sort of. Huh. And it's so cool. So do you know the uh, show Steven Universe? Yes. I haven't watched it, to be honest, but I do definitely know it. So the artist, uh, Dr. Sugar? <gasps> no! Choke on myself. The artist Rebecca Sugar. Yeah, so she likes to draw S Steven sometimes, like, she incorporates stuff from her childhood, so, like, whenever he's playing a video game at the house, he's playing, like, a little GameCube. Yeah, oh. In one, in one episode, and it's only for, like, a split second, and it's, like, background, but he's playing Smash. Oh, that's awesome. Alright. Don't take this the wrong way. I'm actually serious about this. Okay. literally can't move horizontally during that, or just not enough, but I was trying... Oh, you lose your costume. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. What do you mean you lose your costume? Look, I'm not wearing the, uh, oh. whatever the heck that other yes. costume was. Yeah, you're probably gonna pack them. When I die. <laughs> All right. Chicken bird. Miss me when I dare. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to. Dude, that down air comes out like on frame 89. It, 
It wasn't intentional. I think that there's some way that you can eat them and then, like, you have a small window when you can try to jump back. Or maybe that's another game. Yeah, I can short hop double laser. Falco lasers. With Kirby. Yeah, okay, okay. I actually don't think that match is quite as bad as, uh, as it looks like it might be. I think Kirby's actually better than Jigglypuff at getting underneath the lasers, because you, you're the same... As far as I'm aware, you're the same thickness, you will like your jump squat's faster. Yeah, yeah, we no, can no, do this. No, Kirby's not better than Jigglypuff. No, 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 in that one teeny tiny regard. I would regard. even say that. No. Well, just, if the frame data is better, but the actual hitbox, or hurtbox in this case, is the same, then it would have to be better. Now, the, the rest of the package around it's bad, but the idea is that if you try to crouch and wave dash to uh, to get past Falco lasers and force the Falco to shoot like super duper low lasers, that's the the one way Kirby can be better than Jigglypuff because it just has a faster jump squat. So did you see the uh, end of Evo then? I said you saw. I saw yeah the award ceremony. Oh, you just saw the award ceremony. Uh, I saw. Yeah, that's basically it, actually. I saw stuff that I saw on Twitch, as so, far as after Grand Finals. Did you notice that Leffen taunted as he got the last stock? Oh, so during the actual match itself? I didn't even notice it because... He did, like, the COME ON! Yeah, as, I, I didn't even notice it at first because, obviously, as soon as he won, my eyes went to the player yeah. game to watch the pop-off, but it's really funny. Oh, no, no, the character did it. He didn't IRL taunt, no, did he? No, 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 no. Okay, that's awesome. Alright, we got ourselves a fox tongue. Come on! You see that? Just like I said, when the frame was, perfect. When it was live, I didn't even notice it. Was... <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, look at Leffen's wholesome pop up. I love it so much. Watch it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Leffen's the kind of person that you wouldn't be surprised if he shot a finger or something, but no, that was wholesome. That was good. Scar made a really good analogy about that Leffen is Venom from, like, Spider-Man. Yeah. Because at first, he is, like, the villain, and then he has a change of heart, and he gets shown the way of the good guy. That's right. And then okay. Eddie Brock takes control, and now he's, now he's a good guy. Oh. All right, chew. Right back at you. I'm sorry. Alright. Yeah. Yo, you, did you just wave dash? Yeah, I wave dash. I've never seen you do dash. You wave dash sometimes. You do. I usually wave dash when it's not necessary. Like when it's not an important thing, but I would wave dash back and up smash. Because I saw what was going on. Yeah. When I'm just standing there, unfortunately, it is a little bit obvious. It's it's super telegraphed. Okay. Yeah. So if you're wondering why I just derped into that a few times... Oh, nice! Why I kept drifting in? Something messing with me here. John's... Also, does... Okay, so... 
Oh, okay, you're you've good. seen Axe sometimes, like on Pokemon or whatever. If you're gonna attack me. Okay, now I'm just dashing. Or he'll get like a uh, he'll corner someone against the rock or whatever, and he basically does a wobble with Pikachu's jab. Yes, Pikachu can do that. Is Pikachu, Pikachu the only? Because here's the thing. So like Link and so Young like, Link can too with so a sword. Like, right. So Link and Young Link. Any everyone. So like, there's like a handful of characters who have like a rapid jab, right? Yeah. So Pikachu's. The thing with Pikachu is that he actually doesn't have a rapid jab. He just can do his regular yeah. jab really fast. The Isaiah frame is super soon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Does anyone else have that? Uh, Kirby also Pichu. has. Kirby also has a rapid jab. Oh, sorry. Oh, good. I thought we were back to. Uh... Yeah, we, we're fine. But no, Kirby also has like, a rapid jab. I, I don't think that it works for the purpose of, like, capturing someone on stadium like that. No, no, no I'm saying Kirby has one of those with a double, like... Oh, like yeah. Of course, does as well. Oh, yeah. And Fox and Falco. But in terms of, uh, just having a really fast regular jab... Ah! Uh, no, one of the things... Oh, go on. Pikachu and Pichu are the new ones. I guess. Yeah, as far as just having a jab that's like jab one, but the Isaiah frame is real quick, I guess it's just Pikachu and Pichu. Pikachu! Yeah. Toasty Toasty. Fire type Pokemon. Trucker Chew. It's a trucker hat. Almost every time I've done dash attack, it's been an attempt at a neutral. Wait a minute, every time you've attempted a dash attack, it's been an attempt at neutral area? Every time I've done a dash attack, done. it's been an attempt at neutral area. Where I just tap the uh, jump button a little too lightly. Ooh. Pikachu and those T-Rex arms messing that up for me. I wish Pikachu had the N64. Okay, didn't shield in time. The N64 back air. That would be okay. So that's what I was gonna say earlier. N64 back air is basically like a like what Kirby does with his legs, but actually a strong move where they just both go back and hit you. Mm -hmm. um, but it's actually a, it's a it's a decently strong move. And of course, in 60, in melee, you just like turn into a pizza and get spun around in the air. In Project M, instead of dealing 3%, his up here does 7%. Who do you think is the most broken for their relative game out of the following? Pikachu in 64, Fox in Melee, Meta Knight in Brawl, Diddy in first version Smash 4, Bayo in current Smash 4. Meta Knight. Meta? That's Meta what I would Knight. say, too. Yeah. I would say Meta Knight with... Uh, Diddy original Smash 4 yeah, so. In the context of their respective game. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's not so, like who would win out of the fight between all of them, but Oh in gosh, the the, <laughs> Melee Fox. He, yeah. If he had melee mechanics. Just stupid fast. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Diddy I mean, in the context of Smash 4 it was really good, but that's because he had he was like, just the better, truest right. vertical combo. He was just better. Yeah. And then Bayo got that and then some. Bayo who can zero to death like everyone. Let's switch it up. No, eh, whatever. Yeah. I don't want to play too much Jigglypuff, even though that's a character I like, because I don't want to, like, make this whole thing miserable on you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do that. You can play if you want. Uh, Puff Fox? My Puff? Yeah. My favorite is Squirtle. Uh, Squirtle Puff. It's Bow R. 
but you can do whatever. Yeah, when I go with an alternate, I actually have to say you know. Okay. This is unfortunate. This is the weirdest. <laughs> How did that happen? Didn't it look like I crossed? It kind of did, it? yeah. So, I, you know, Jigglypuff's hitbox is about the size of a molecule. Yeah. Unfortunately. But like, still. Oh, 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 no! Keep going. Never just. It's never just one against Fox. Yeah. No, my only ever JV5 is with Puff. Oh, with Puff? Yep. You're playing as Puff? Yep. Nice. On the floor of, of my, uh, Ooh. college dorm. That was And this, uh... Um, there was this guy waiting for a friend to come out. Like, they were getting ready to go out or something like that. Yeah, I was just playing. He's like, oh, dude, you played Smash Bros? And I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, man, I haven't played this game in years. Oh, those are always the best. And so, and so, no, no, it gets better than that. So. I believe you. Um, I'm like, yeah, you want to play? And he's like, sure, absolutely. And then he's looking through the character select screen. And he goes, wait, where's Meta Knight? And I'm like, oh, oh, and no. I was like, okay, I know it's about, this is about to be good. That was the story about how I fucked up some poor, poor guy. Oh! Maybe he never actually played Melee and only played Brawl. I'm not sure. Yeah. That's uh that was the tech that won Armada at Evo 2015. Apparently he and of all people, Prince Abu, because Prince Abu. Oh get that! Yeah. Yeah, I remember that um where Hbox the whole rest of the tournament because that was when Hbox solidified everyone's hate for him by playing Campy. Yeah, so that I was before he was basically forced to have to get aggressive a little bit. Because up, up until then, yeah, nobody really knew, apparently. And the weird thing was is that he had gone from being like someone aggressive to like that. Like, like it was almost as if he himself had only learned that that was a thing like right before the turn. You know what I mean? Um, I... Like, I, he would time out people, but like... He, he was never really a camper until that tournament, and then it lasted for like a couple more tournaments, and then he started working on his new Yeah, plan. apparently he got together with Crunch, and Crunch coached him. Yeah. Yeah. That was the make sure that the box is gone. The first, uh, first tournament he had... Well, it probably wasn't the first Crunch was working with him, but the first where Crunch came to him as like a coach yeah. was that dream hack winner that was held over in Sweden. Oh yeah, that's right! And he uh, ugly cried after he won. He had, oh yeah, because he had the snot coming out. Yeah. He, he thought that was the biggest deal in the world back then because he won a tournament over Armada in PAL. Mm -hmm. And then in TSC he starts, well not and then, there's a little time, but then he starts wrecking. Yeah, that was right, um, that was the first of his 
string where he was the best in the world. And then there was a brief period where he started losing a bit again in the middle. Yeah. Mango theorizes because HBox always has to feel like the victim. And so when he's the best in the world, he doesn't actually know what to do with it. Which is probably, there's probably some truth to that. Well, Mango also, there's some blood between them. No, but I mean, it makes, I mean, I think it's also a valid thing about HBox's personality. Which is that HBox's, HBox's his entire career out of the gods, um, like I said, just in, until recently, has, was the underdog, I think. Yeah, him or Mewtwo King. Because Mewtwo King was the guy that for years couldn't beat Mango or Amato. And so, I guess, and both of them kind of had something similar going on, where they had a, a flaw as players that kept them from winning. Mewtwo King's was having to, to make the optimal choice, and by his own admission, Hunger Boxes was getting good off gimmicks. That's what he said in the documentary, that I got good off gimmicks. That should have been a jab not a grab. Yeah. So, Captain Falcon, unfortunately, he can't use his up B to knock you off the ledge. And that means that against him, I never have to get up early. Like with Marth, I, I do because of the hitbox. But with him, no need. So I can just wait, and if you happen to get on stage, I have about a year to rest you out of there. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Hello. Chicky! Did you, so let, did you let Shield down there? No, thought, that Shield poked me. Oh, I thought you let it because you thought it would be better than uh, if than I popping. Broke. Yeah, five. No, that was that was just a Shield poke, my friend. I have to admit, I, was I thought... Say, if you had let it go, potentially, that would be, like, next level awareness. Oh. Like, because, you know, obviously everyone's instinct is always just a yeah. shield. So I thought that Jigglypuff could take that one hit, with the shield being that high to start. If I had been wrong, well, you know. Yes. So, Silver, that Samus player I told you about, when he played against me, ooh, there we go. He actually went Captain Falcon. Okay, I waited a little too long. Yeah. Not like this. Okay, even when he's falling to his doom, the guy looks awesome. Uh. Okay. Senor? Yeah. Remember me. Hello, Dark Wilson. In honor of the baseball cap. So if I had to pick a, a low tier other than Kirby as my guy, it's gotta be Roy. Gold Roy. I think Game & Watch is better, but I, I like the play style of Roy. Yeah, Game Watch is definitely Well, I like that Roy, he's kind of a fast faller. And that gives its own advantages, his shuffle. If his aerials weren't god-awful, then his shuffle might actually be kind of okay. Roy's mobility is good. It's not much different than our brothers, to be honest. Okay, this is the part where the weave in me says, They're not brothers! But, yeah. Are they not? No, they're no. not. They're from different games. No, I'm gonna call them brothers. <laughs> oh, God, grab! Roy, grab! Yep, that should... Also, though, being a fastballer sucks there. And he's lighter than his brother. Uh, 
Also, his shield is completely useless. Look at, look at, but, look at my shield. Yeah. Your shield is this maybe is the worst in the game. No, this isn't fully charged. Yeah. This is a fully charged shield. So, yeah, it sucks. And Roy's doesn't cover his feet or his head. Both of these characters have awful shields. Shield again. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. Sakurai, what were you thinking? He was thinking, uh, casually, let's say. No, he's thinking, Roy is so strong. He's got all these strong moves. You've got to balance yeah. it out somehow. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, if this is my 2005 match. This is my, I don't even know that there is such a thing as being competitive, main. Yeah, my, uh, 2005, uh, complete casual main was Young Wing, for sure. And that was only because, at the time, when was my favorite game. Okay, that's, that's a good reason. Also, Windmaker is still one of my favorite games. I, I confession, haven't played it. Own it, you should. haven't played it. You know, now I've never will. played Ocarina of Time because I never had it uh, in 64. So I guess it's more appropriate to say my brother owns Wind Waker, but you know, when I was a kid, I should have played it because now that I'm an adult, what time? Wave dash down tilt. I would like to be a thing with Roy. Well, both Roy and Game Watch have a down tilt to just fish from it. That's true. And this has very much the same problem as Roy's. And it's bigger than it looks, right? Yeah. Whoa! That was a cool wave dash! Oh, because the grass makes you go for it, right? Probably. I know Roy's. Wave Dash is supposed to be as good as uh, Mart's, like, and Samus. It's, there's a there's like a tier of characters that are all. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, Roy. Silly Roy. Alright. Whatever this young Link is. Here's our mid tier off, I guess. Uh okay. What's on his ATM? Oh, no, Texas A&M is what that is. Yeah, so, no, no, no. I, I said it in order, but yeah. So, so one of the guys on our uh, on our radio station uh -huh. uh, over at WCHM, he's from Texas A&M. Nice. So and what is this? Pajamas? Nagy, I guess. Pajamas. I. I don't think pajamas. I think those are pajamas. Uh, pajamas, pajamas. Yeah, I don't even know. Let's go with that. Now, what I said about Samus having a good fall speed difference, the difference between regular speed and fall speed, the opposite is true for young ladies. Basically non-existent. Oh, that's what I meant to do. Didn't miss by much. Also, Donkey Kong Shield, I'm sure you've seen, is garbage. <laughs> yeah, okay. 8%, that's all the credit I get. Wow, 
Why did I back air there? Yeah, I deserve it. Yeah! Oh. You're killing- you're beating a kid up! Then again, I'm committing animal commit I was about to make the same joke. The kid who was playing game with the pool team for the monster. Ooh. Yeah, the bomb get out. That's called the manga. No, that's called the Tommy. No, I'm sorry. Everything. Actual everything. For better or worse. Oh yeah, also, so, uh, when Rock was over and he was like, No, Mango is definitely a lot more technical. Like, I don't care that he's, like, an iPad that's playing Georgia, he's just a chick To be honest, I... Mango is not the most I'm inclined to agree. He's, he's psychological. Because he, he really gets in your head and forces you into these crazy... He forces you into your instinct, but he's not technical. Robert can be the nice best player in Georgia. That's cool. He's wrong with Robert. Wrong. <laughs> no, he's a cool guy. Like yeah, he's he's pretty sick. And he's the kind of guy that'll teach you in a heartbeat. Yeah. He's all about helping the newer players. And me, I'm all about, I'm so old, I'm never going to be super competitive. So I'm just going to allow my train up the next gen. Oh. What? Yeah, I had a bomb I was holding. Oh my god. Okay. That's not how that's supposed to go. I actually kind of was. It's the, uh... You were trying to go for a wall jump bomb. Well, just a air dodge up, tether recovery. Because when you air dodge up, you can... No! 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 Oh, and no, I saved I you! That was coming. No, I, I saved you. I would have won if I just done like off in the opposite direction. Goodness gracious! Um, so check this out, real quick. So something that not just Young Link, but other characters can do too. I doesn't matter. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you. When you air dodge up, you can do your uh, tether. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. So Samus, Young Link, Link, yeah. somebody else. Do you know how to do, uh, and that's the only, only Young Link can do it, so not Link? Do you know how to do the thing where you go super high up in the air and just stays up there for Oh, like the minutes? super jump? I, yeah. It's not in 1.2. It's not? Yeah, it, it's patched out in later versions. Oh, that's such a bummer. Yeah. It is sick, though. You know how to do the same with Super Wave Dash? I, I don't. It's like this frame-perfect... Yeah. I don't know. And I think it even involves the D-pad somehow. Oh. I don't know. Let, let me ask Silver real quick. <laughs> yeah, he said he grinded for like weeks until he could super wave dash perfectly, mm -hmm. which sounds about right. He looks like the kind of guy that wouldn't take anything seriously, and then you actually play him, and it's like, no, no, he he knows what he's doing. You know what? Let's just let's do it. Yeah, I mean, I went on purpose. Oh. Fox is one of the reasons this stage is banned, unfortunately. Because if I had a modicum of technicality there and tried to, like, wall shine you, ooh. No! Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I love this game. I love this stupid game. In the best way possible. I love this stupid game. Oh yeah, okay. Every character gets to be Ice Climber, he gets to be Luigi. If 
you attempted to SDI and got out that way, good on you. Ooh. I don't know. I, wait a minute. Gotta learn at some point to actually wall jump. I know how, but like actually doing it. The wall jumping is sick. It's one of my okay. favorite things to do in the game. Okay. So it's hit the wall and reverse the direction. Yep. Ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> The sliding shine. Nice. Saw the shine come out. The shine will come out. <laughs> I love this game. Oh, you better. For a character so light, he lives till kingdom come, man. Well, this stage probably has a higher seed than Probably. That would that would do it. Oh, oh. I'm gonna get you. That's what I do with the engine. I'm gonna get you. Attempt at a wall jump. Get out of there! Getting to the same way at the same time. Alright. Yeah, that's something I should try to force in practice, not here. Alright. Welcome to Silly Melee. This is the actual Silly Melee. Foresight OP. Alright. Oh, did you want to do something else? No. Yeah. I appreciate that neither of us really tried to camp it out, though. I mean, yeah, the only reason you would ever go to Foresight is to do unnecessary problems. And also to super wave dash along a spaceship. Oh, yeah, there's that. Oh, <laughs> 
So I didn't get a hit stun in time to risk it. I don't care. No, I haven't. You should watch it. It's hilarious. I believe you. Did you know? Oh, what's his name? Uh, not Army. One of the Ice Climbers. Ooh, like that. He's actually. He has a band. It's a. Yeah, that's that's a his kid. Not, it's his kid. Not. I was running through the list. Like, he's a really, members. He's a really good uh, sound And have you seen his band? I have, I've seen some video of it on his channel. Yeah. He's pretty cool. Hey, let's finish this one before we before we look at the video, please. <laughs> Gotta get this resolved. And I think the name of the game is like Kyle Trade. Yeah. And they do all the video controls. I wonder if maybe Mango is technical to Rob in a way that we don't see. Yeah, compared to like a, a Cyrox or a Hax, no, he's not. But maybe there's or something to less on Leffen. Yeah, de definitely not as technical as Leffen. Ooh, honestly, seeing Armada like wave shine under shield, I can't remember seeing Mango do wave shine under shield as much as Armada these days. Like in that Swedish set you showed me, mm -hmm. that was that was a turning point in that game. Yeah, this is a. Uh... I'm just gonna practice while that goes. Practice yeah. dash dance. Here, then, let's turn the volume down. Alright. This is Kyle of Fade. And his band. That guy looks like ice. Yeah. Random ice. Yeah, I'm just gonna practice it. Dash dancing and running shots again.
Shun? Um, can I? Yes. Can, can I actually do it? No. I can only get two before I, like, jump. So because my fingers are on the buttons, it's just a matter of learning the timing, but I don't have the timing. Yeah. Those are two of my favorite instruments. Violin to me sounds so beautiful, and piano I know is really technical. Yeah. I bet it really helps rise climbers to be musicians. Because a musician needs to have an internal, you know, block. Um, I am sure that you're right. Actually, now that I think about it, that's a good observation. Now, the sample size is only two, but still. Well, that we know of. There could be, like, we're gonna find out. Well, Chew Dad doesn't count. <laughs> Chew Dad's raps no. do not count. No, they don't. Did I just shine up smash? Yeah. I didn't... Huh? How? I can't intentionally do that now that I'm trying... Oh, okay, maybe I palmed it. Wait, 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 give me just a moment and try something out, please. Oh, I've got to actually jump, though. I've got to hit jump to make it work. Are you watching this? And then I can't do it. I got three in a row earlier. Nice. I mean, not exactly the most useful tech, but if you wouldn't mind, let's do a... Uh... Yep. Now let's see your shield. Okay. Would you mind holding shield for just a moment? Really got it. Nope. Come on, Jay. I have to follow a shine with it or it doesn't count. Or follow a... Follow it. yeah, follow a shine with it. Okay, that was probably pretty slow, but that's... That's it. Tommy! What? Oh. Now it... There's some shine pressure. I, I mean, all they have to do is just keep holding shield a little longer, but it's cool. Okay. I, I'm proud of myself for a technique that I will use never in tournament. Alright. So check this out. 
So Fox's lasers actually have a limited range. Do it with Falco. Oh my <laughs> That doesn't really make Falco any better than... No, it doesn't, but I just... Because that's the full length of a regular battlefield as how far yours go, which is... Yeah, no, that, that's completely irrelevant. I just think it looks kind of cool. Got a good rhythm going. We're gonna find out that all the Falco mains are also instrumentalists. That's... I'll do it. I haven't had time to play since I, uh, started my time. Yeah. The joys of life, unfortunately. Specifically the joys of being a reporter and a paper where you can get a Wait, what? That I did not realize. I mean... Yeah, it's a, a busy life. Yeah. Turn the sound back on. All right. And then it's okay if we only play a few more. Yeah. I want to get back a little. You know, it's a work night or whatever. So yeah, it's almost ten thirty. Let's play so. a set. Okay. We'll do a set. Okay. I I do. Yeah. You got it. I'll let you man those controls. All right. One, two, three, pop. Go. Yeah. Alright. Probably gonna be Battlefield. <coughs> so, uh, who strikes first? Okay, um, you strike first. Alright. Yoshi Story, Final Destination. Would you like to go Battlefield or Fountain? Alright. Here goes. Good DI. I didn't. I couldn't catch it. At least I don't think I could. Yeah, I think it went too high of a percent now for this. Finish my food. One may not be enough. For Falco, two is. Got my shield grabbing. Good. Cross cancel shine is a thing on Puff. It actually is. A lot of Puff uh, Puff's moves can be cross canceled. Hey, making the comeback. That hit. That hit. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. From. It's a, a famous sports clip of uh, some locker room talk. Wait, ooh, ooh! I guess I guess I can't say locker room talk after 2016. The like the yeah. Fine. The yeah. The football like they're in a halftime and their I guess quarterback is making making them hype or trying to make them. Hype. 
trying to get them to, uh... Ooh, that was neat! If I had the... I thought you were gonna tech, hence the back air. I tried to, but I hit the tech button a bit too early by accident. So that's an instance where no tech actually works out. Oh. Ah. Really, really messed up there, Jay. Yeah, so the weak fair that just drops them straight down. Mm -hmm. I call that the dropkick Murphy. Just it's a dropkick. Are you gonna change your character? No, I'm gonna stay puff. Alright, Marth time. You almost had that. But yeah, I, I do agree that the Marth is better. Oh wait, wait, wait. Best of three or best of five? Best of five. Okay, yeah, so here we are. Yeah. <laughs> 
contest.